we're about to do today. We're about to turn it up. We're about to change the brake pads on this here car right here. It's a what is this? 2011 Mustang. 2011 Mustang. Four of these bad boys because we're lifting this guy off the ground all four wheels we're gonna need two we got two jacks just to make it easier one on each side we got classic right here impact gun and we're gonna go over this we got this new front new rear pads this just in case we run out of brake fluid impact sockets boom 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 not sure which one we're gonna need yet all these you'll need some of these to take off the caliper this is the most important tool you're gonna want to look at this is a specialty tool Disc brake caliper tool set. Pretty much, this works in the rears of Mustangs. These hook in to spin the, the piston because they have a weird design where the piston like spins when it, it's ridiculous, whatever. Screw that, let's get going. All right, so first off, you're gonna need one of these guys to jack your car up. So make sure it's up as high as possible. So here we put the jack right where the scissor jack goes, the factory scissor jack. And we got the jack stand resting on the frame. So then we're good to slowly take this jack off. Ha! Slowly jack off, guys. Real slow jack off. And he's got the same over there as you can see. Guys, now it's time for the favorite part. Go to NASCAR. Boom. And size 12, no extension. What we got, we got a bolt up here and a bolt down below. Go ahead and show them. Right here, this bolt, pop out, and the bottom one right here. Boom, boom, boom. If you were gonna replace the rotors, you take off this other big one right here and right here, okay? But we're not replacing those yet. It's gonna come out like a big bar. Get a load of it. There it is. I lied to him. I thought it was going to come out like a big bar. <laughs> now there's your caliper. You got your pads here. These things just come out, Chris. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Pad's fine. Back pad. Same. Rotor's chill too. But the problem is in the back, he's getting a grinding noise. But anyways, put new pads on this and let's change this bad boy. Make sure you pop these off because your kit should come with new ones. Right here. Adaptive one. Look at this. Here's your clips like I was yelling about. Look at that. Clip, clip a rooney, clip, clip a rooney. And then you got your pads right here. Fresh. Brand new. Comes with, look at this. It comes with grease too. I'm never going to get this open. Come here. That's how you gotta do it. Oh, yeah? Look at these bad boys, look at that. And here you're gonna wanna grease your ceramic brakes as follows. Okay. Grease all those little points in the clip actions. Don't grease any of this surface. This is friction points, you will literally die. Your brakes will not work and you'll hit a wall. So we're just gonna throw a little bit of grease on here. A little grease action, you know what I mean? Then we're gonna get a video of uh, the grease here. Grease. Little bit of grease. All right, now we're gonna hand off to Shelby here, and he's gonna grease those clipperoons. All right. Pretty much the clip that he's talking about. I need a nice little tab that you guys had here. Both of the calibers. Right on in there. Okay. Right on in there. Right on in there. Right on in 
the very top. And the other ones in the back. Make sure you get those ones, don't forget it. <laughs> We're gonna go with Mike's logic of dying. Woo! Look at this, there's colors if you get the adaptive ones. Blue faces you! Red in the back of the head. <laughs> I made that up. You can see from there. Does it actually say, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that hour pad. There you go. Boom. Back's done. Now time to head to the front and do the blues. Chevy's in. Look at that. Wow. What a piece. Great size. We have to use this to compress the piston because we don't have a C-clamp. So for this to work, sliding this right in here. Okay. I'm putting that on here. And this is just going to go inside the brake caliper too. All right. Yeah, this is your caliper. We're going to slide this in here like this. Okay. Take this old pad, put her in here and watch as we twist this. Gonna compress. The mother flipping. See how it's compressing that guy? Get this inside here. To compress this guy. Remember, if you have a C-clamp, it's easy because you just put the C-clamp around the pistons and do it. But since we don't have that, we're using this shaman. So now that they're compressed, this sucker should just come right in here. There. There she is. Take your two bolts. Boom, boom. Am I listening or am I just dumb? Oh, there it is. Sick stuff. Yeah. Easy. Wow, we, yeah, look at this. These are the rears. Yeah, not a lot of meat on that. You can tell. Yeah, nothing. And then uh, you can tell right here, it's kind of warped, scratched up this rotor. I'm not sure if he wants to replace these or not. In the you? future I will. Okay. We'll do another video of that. Yeah, so we're gonna put the new ones on and now we're gonna use a specialty tool what we just used to compress the front ones so for this we groove it because these are the twists see see how it's supposed to twist now we're going to use it the specialty tool let me show you what you do again from last time you're using this one eduardo okay or echo whatever you want these are magnetic you get a load of this sink magnet magnetism it's a matter of science and stuff and we're using johnson here this has a johnson on it i guess cool who cares about that though right so you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to snake this guy inside here. Whoa, we're gonna need to take it back a bit. So draw it back to square one here. Boom. Put it in here. Boom. Push it up against here. Draw this back slowly to put pressure. Now that we got pressure on there, we're gonna yank the doodle. I would recommend getting a partner for a compañero to uh, film this while Chris comes in. Hey, Chris's brother, I'm photography Scott out here. I'm holding this while Chris is going to yoink this. See that? Look how it's spinning. Slowly it's going to compress. Nice, it's going on. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you just hit your head on there? <laughs> Bloopers! Oh shit. <laughs> 
right, just like the other side, we lubed at the back. Not the friction components because we're not dumb and we're not dying. We're using this whatever the frick it is, brake lube. Okay, go on and let's let's try this out, huh? That went in nicely. That went in nicely. Put the shim in the top. Is that the top shim? Yeah. Maybe we should take them out first, huh? Let me pull it aside. Sick. Now we got top and bottom shims in. We gotta reuse those bad boys. Let's see if we can fit this guy in there. You wanna push that in? Anyways, now we just need to put that bolt in there. A little Titan action here by Shelby. <laughs> Alright, listen here. Now that you're done putting your calipers on, we got the car up. All we gotta do is put all the wheels on. So let's NASCAR this bad boy out and put some freaking wheels on. <laughs>